You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Hillman versus O'Neill. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Hillman, you and your mother are appearing today because you claim the defendant got you pregnant and has since refused to do anything for your 13-month-old son, DeMarcus. You've petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that he is DeMarcus's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. O'Neill, you say you are 100% certain you are not her son's biological father father and you plan to prove it in court today. Is yes, that correct? Ms. Hillman, what type of relationship does Mr. O'Neill have with your son? Well, Your Honor, he don't do nothing for him. They don't have no relationship together. Like when... Oh, like, when I, like when I hold him, Your Honor, and my baby go to reach for him, he ignore him. Does he provide for the baby financially? No, he don't do nothing. My, my mom and the baby's godmother is the one that actually helps me with everything. And that's, that's not right. That's not right on my son, because he didn't ask to be here. Mr. O'Neill, you haven't done anything for the baby. No, I got my doubts. I got my doubts. I ain't doing nothing for the baby. So you, you mean it? Nothing. No chain, no diaper, no pampers, no nothing. Because okay. I ain't going to take care of nothing. I, I ain't mine. But I, done that been that, I done been through that spirit before. Well, so you... I ain't, I ain't going to be no dummy two times. Oh, the last time you went yeah. through it, it was not your biological yeah. child? Yes, but, no. but, it... but that ain't got nothing to do with us, so... But I got my doubts. But you know that's your baby. I got, I got my doubts. All right, need... so take... I want to understand. I mean, Mr. O'Neill has admitted he is not doing anything for this baby, and he means it. How did your relationship start? Okay, me, me and Mr. O'Neill, we met through two mutual friends. The first night we met, you know, we chilled, okay, la da da. He told me, like, he told me I was his girlfriend. He didn't ask me like he told me. He demanded that, okay, you're my girlfriend, we're together. So the second, so the second night, me, me, him, and the same two mutual friends, we got together, we chilled. That's when, like, I conceived Demarcus. Second night, though. So it was the second night. Yeah, it I was. like the woman leave me, made me wait about two, three weeks. Don't, don't sit oh. don't, don't stay and try to do that because I wanna, I, just I the, first, that the first night, me and you met, you sat in our car and you begged, literally, you begged for it. Don't try it. So, wait a minute. The, so, Mr. O'Neill, what you're saying now is you told her you wanted her to be your girlfriend, yeah, but now you say since she had sex yeah, with you the second night after and she met mine. you, you you don't believe that nope. you're the only person she was sleeping with. I think she was pregnant before she met me. He okay. needs to stop you know, you, you, something for him. You, when she got ready to have him, he left. See, but see, that's, that's the uh, point, y'all. He left. She know that's her grandson, but do I know that's my child? He looks just like, like you. you. No, you don't. I'm not for to pull nobody else low. Oh, my God. All right. So, you all met, and very well, quickly, you friend. said you wanted to be in a relationship with Miss Hillman. Is that correct, Mr. O'Neill? Yes, Your Honor. And so you did tell her, okay, we, we're in a relationship now, and you all were having sex? Were you using protection? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, the other man wasn't needle. What other what man? Other she man? was with you. Okay. She was with that you because y'all was at my house. So you were, you, you were, you were there. Love at first sight. That's what he told me. And then me. on top of that, the first time me and him with those mutual friends ever chill, it was at my mom's house. And I wish I would have kept walking. What? You, but you did. You wasn't even walking. You wasn't walking. You, you was, you was on riding. the passenger seat. And I wish I would have kept riding mm, along. You a scrub because you was on the passenger seat. So. Whatever. <laughs> I've been trying for five years to try and make a child. All of a sudden, when I get with her, oh, pops up three, three, four weeks, six weeks. It don't matter. Oh, you pregnant? Why the other women didn't pop up pregnant? Well, maybe oh, they wasn't maybe, fertile. Or oh, maybe you want to try hard enough. Hmm. Call hold her ass, though. How you know he ain't the father? Oh. You hmm. say you did. Test you match the flirtation. You you it ain't had nothing to do by it set, but it, it was flirtation It was a text. female. It was a female. So you said, you people. said, hold on, Mr. O'Neill. You said you caught her with her ex and yeah. you saw text messages? No, you did. You lying. What did you see? How you doing? What you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you come chill with me? Oh, my, oh, my old man here. So, Mr. O'Neill, did you ever physically catch her with another man? Ever? Yeah, on her mama's porch. Why is you lying? With her ex? Your Honor, let me tell you what happened. And I left my, that my same three... night, and I think they laid around. That's why I got my. My, th my three-year-old. Tell me what happened. 
I'll give well, you a what, chance what, to respond. Well, this I, was, I was in the I was in the front room playing the game with her cousin, and uh, it was about what about ten, eleven o'clock. But I had walked on the porch, and I seen her mama, her, and her ex sitting right here. Oh, now all of a sudden, oh, you want to come outside? Why you ain't been coming in until? Mr. O'Neill, do you have any reason to believe she was still having sex with her ex? I think he stayed the night when I left. Marcus, yeah, don't I... do it. You know what? I'm just gonna say it like this. You was a daddy. You know that baby is yours. He looked just like y'all. You should step up whether or not... If you wanted this, why wait till he 13 months? You should have did it in the beginning. The beginning. You should have did it in the beginning. <laughs> Therefore, we wouldn't be going through this right now. Lauren Lake here giving you five seconds to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Five, four, three, two, one. You got to stop listening to what people tell you and learn to think and do for yourself. Just like that random guy when I was chilling with my homeboy. The random guy asked me to my, oh, you Laneja baby daddy? Yeah, sure, of course. Well, you oh, say, so wait a minute. Uh, Hold on. You just chilling out by yourself. Uh-huh. And what well, happens? Me and my homeboy, we're in the park chilling. A random guy, he walked by first. He ain't said nothing. Walked by the second time and asked, looked me up. And so he was like, you little naked baby daddy? I said, yeah, why? What's the problem? Oh, that's my, that's supposed to be my homeboy, baby. Did she tell you that? Your really? Home, your homeboy, baby. Her what? home, his homeboy. Boy, cut it out. Cut so, it out. So, so wait, back. Mr. O'Neill, you were in the park with a friend, yeah, just well, hanging you, out you, at the, the park, yeah. and some stranger walks by you and day. says, Are you Ms. Hillman's child's father? Pride. You say yes. yes. With pride. With pride. But you say he ain't yours, though. What is it? He is what he ain't. Nope. Was she ain't pregnant ain't or was Demarcus born when this happened? She was, he was already born. So, at that time, you were accepting him as your child? You man. told the man yes. At the time, until he got a little older. And then when he got older, what happened? He started not looking like me. Oh. He probably... <laughs> you, you, look, look at that. And look at yourself in the mirror. He look like you. He like all your family. All y'all got big eyes, big lips, big nose. <laughs> look at the cheeks. He got bags on his eyes just like you and your mama. But no, Mr. O'Neill, I have to say this to you because you say you've been through this before. Yeah, I have been through this before. And I... And I, and I so, I, at the point, was it, was it that was... you were struggling and you were at war in your own mind and for a minute you accepted the baby and you just said, okay, but then as the baby got now, older... I, I, I had my doubts. And then... Now, I don't... You just start feeling like he doesn't look like me. This is about to happen to me all over again. And that's what made you step back from this child. Mm -hmm. And that's what made you say, I don't want anything to do with this child because I don't want to feel that kind of pain. And I don't want to get attached. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be hurt no more. I know how I feel. And like I said, sure. I just, I want a baby that I know that's mine and, and just raise my own family, be protected of my family. So Something if it is yours, what you gonna do? I'm gonna step up like a man. Okay, well, mm -hmm. we gonna need you to do it. I'm gonna step up. <laughs> what are you thinking about right now, Mr. O'Neill? What's on your mind? Tell the court. It ain't my child. And I say it is. And it seems like that kind of bothers you when you say that. Don't front. That baby look just like they feel. We'll find out. Just like. Well, we is gonna find out. So today. listen. Was Mr. O'Neill there when the baby was born nope. at the hospital? No. No. Nope. I was. He, I, he, like, I was home. What he happened? left me. Why be there when I got... I, I, I mean, can I, I talk? Doubts? Can I talk? Why, why be there at the hospital? So he wasn't there to sign the birth No, I got evidence right here. Y Let me see that. Jerome, will you hand me the evidence, please? Give it a photo. Thank you. You're welcome. This evidence is DeMarcus's birth certificate. And under father's name, there is no father listed. And, 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 and Your Honor, it's embarrassing. Cause like when he go to the doctor, they, they look at me funny like, oh, it's just another person that I don't know who their daddy is or their daddy wasn't there to sign that birth certificate. That's embarrassing. That really is, that really is embarrassing. That, that is. And he say, oh, he's so hurt. No, I'm hurt because you knew we was doing well, it. Well, you be faithful, we won't be going through this. 
How you gonna talk about somebody being faithful when just a, a couple of days before we came here, a female was sending pictures to your phone? But you didn't tell that to the court, now did you? It don't feel, hey, it don't feel good when the shoe on the other feet ain't. Child boy and bye. So wait a minute. You all still dealing with each other? Somewhat. Off and on. So you still see DeMarcus, you see the baby. You just don't when do I anything. Feel like it. You, you just when you feel like when it. When I yeah. feel like it. But he he don't, he don't do nothing. Because this is what paternity doubts do. This is I, we, this is nothing new. We see this all the time. Look, I don't think Mr. O'Neill has, uh, you know, performed well in this situation at all. I do understand he's been hurt before. I do understand that really has affected him. I do understand that in that moment he just made a decision as wrong as it may have been that I'm just not going to go through this hurt again. I'm going to avoid this pain. And so the way I avoid it is that I just don't get attached to any child until I know for certain they're mine. Right? But wrong, right, or indifferent. You... That was his choice and that's what he did. Hold on. But I want to also say to you, and you got to be honest with this, and mom, you have got to make sure your daughter understands this. When you meet a man on a Monday and you're in the bed with him on a Tuesday, you don't know him well enough. You don't know his intentions well enough. You don't know his capabilities of being a father well enough. You do not know whether he is compassionate enough. You don't know his finances well enough. And you don't know his background well enough. To know. Well, I... Hold on. You don't know that any of that information well enough to know how he's going to respond in a situation like this. There's also another point to this is that he's never been a father and he may not know how to be one and he may not care to be one until he knows for certain. So there's a part you play in this. So as you say to him, he's a deadbeat, he's a this, he's a that. You 20 years old having sex in your mother's house. I got a problem with all that. Because, Mom, what that lets her know is that's okay. But who... No, 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 because the same kids that he's saying is not his, he's been raising them kids. But listen... Doing it for them, But so. this is the point I'm making. You are so angry at him, and you have a right to be, but you also have to identify the ways in which you could have changed your behavior so it doesn't happen again. Ooh. You got a, another baby, right? An older baby, right? And then you have DeMarcus, right? But how many do kids? For the older one. How many kids do you have? I have two, but he, but he, he do it for the he, older he one. He'll help me with my oldest son, but this, not him. Because he knows that child is not his. Don't you all see his logic? As flawed okay, as I'm it right, may right, be, right. he will do something for the older child that he knows is not his because he's not going to get into, a, attached to that child the way he may get attached what? to DeMarcus. Okay, you not he, understand the logic. Runner, he Listen. got into, a, t attached to the two that he knows for a fact that is not his. His. That's Don't what I just it. said, which is proof you're not listening. I just said that. But what I'm saying to you is, as a young woman, I don't want this to happen to you again. So what I'm saying to you is, you got to look at this. That's how we learn our lessons in life. You got to you gotta live it. You've seen it now. I done laid down with a man 14 years older than me at my mother's house, had no, sex, it, let him have fun. No, it, when they first laid down, it, it was not at my house. But what I'm saying, you said you know that because you said they yeah, were in my that, house that was like, punching wait, that all was, the time. That was after. When they first did it, they was over his people's house. We was what, living what, together. They was living but listen, together. Listen, 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 that's fine. But even at the time that you were at your mother's or wherever you may be, you did not know him well enough to know how he would respond. And sometimes you don't know how people will respond until they're in a situation, which is why it is best for you to know them well as possible before you get yourself here. And look, you can continue to point the finger at him. I don't know the results today, and I'm gonna get them for them. you. Because she should have protected herself. Amen, he mom. Protected his Amen, self. mom. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. If he don't want to protect himself, you protect yourself. Because at the end of the day, you see where the buck stops, right? Yep. Mama's baby, daddy's... Maybe. Exactly. And we're the ones up in the middle of the night. You live in it, I can see it in your eyes. But I'm talking to you woman to woman, because I don't want you to ha this to happen to you again. Do you understand? Yes, sure. No. All right. I'm going to get you these results, because I want to see how we can move forward. Jerome.
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Hillman versus O'Neill, when it comes to one-year-old Demarcus Hillman, it has been determined by this court. Mr. O'Neill, you are the father. Can I see you? You're the father. Can I see you? You raised up. Oh, you did all that. Can you... I see you? Miss Hillman, would it Can be okay if Mr. O'Neill saw his son? That's fine. I'm happy. I, you look happy. I'm so happy, I want to cry. Can I say <laughs> something, Your Honor? All I want him to do is step up and, and, and help. I don't care if it's a pamper, a wipe, a lotion. Just help a little bit. Can he see his son in my chambers? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. I will meet you all there. Court is adjourned. He's so cute. Thank you. Is there anything you want to say to your son? He is beautiful. I'm sorry for not being up from 13. I don't think I regret it. That's such a beautiful picture. This is such a beautiful picture. And I hope you all keep this moment in your minds. It won't always be easy, but he needs all of you. There's no doubt anymore. Yeah. I know you're probably yeah. a little bit in shock, right? Yeah. <laughs> but good luck to you guys, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Kayla Handsome. Oh, you're cute. <laughs>